Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza here at the Hatfield Public Library and I'm back with the second half of this same box of picture books. So starting out with a popular one, Cat Kid Comic Club Influencers by Dave Pilkey, his uh, newest goofy graphic novel series. We have King and Kayla and the Case of the Downstairs Ghost, written by Dory Hillstead Butler and illustrated by Nancy Myers. I like that this has a little bit of like an old fashioned Encyclopedia Brown type vibe. And this is a beginning chapter book. We have The Owl Diaries, Eva for President. Sorry, this is such a big box, it's hard to get them out at this point. Uh, the Cardboard Kingdom, Snow and Sorcery by Chad Sell, another popular uh, kids graphic novel series. We have Duel. This is written by Jessica, Jessica Jessica Bagley and illustrated by Aaron Bagley. Oh, we know, we know Aaron Bagley, he's the bad guys guy. And this is a series about... Um, Hmm. So series about kids doing fencing. Lucy's a sixth grader who loves fantasy novels. Gigi is the queen bee of eighth grade. And there's they're both fencing. Oh, and they are sisters, but they don't get along. We have Allie the Great and the Market Mishap. Another, um, this is more like less, oh no, I guess this is more like a sort of transition um, for kids who are maybe reading and ready to transition towards chapter books. This is a good early chapter book. Very cute. Written by Seda Faruqi and illustrated by Debbie Ramalia. <laughs> Oh, look, we have a couple in this series. We have Allie the Great and the Paper Airplane Flap. We have Allie the Great and the Dinosaur Mistake. These are all like just like perfect. They look very fun, intriguing. You get the sense that there's going to be some capers. Uh, two more in the sort of beginning. This is beginning chapter book. A New Dragon Masters, Legend of the Star Dragon. Those are always so fun. And uh, Katie Camillo, Mercy Watson is Missing, one of the most uh, popular chapter book authors. And this is certainly a super popular series. Okay, everything left is a picture book. We have The Truth About Dragons, written by Julie Yilling and illustrated by Hannah Cha. Mmm, I like this. So I actually remember what this one is about because I remember reading the reviews. It's about a child, I think, who has one parent um, from who tells them the story of dragons from Western mythology and one parent who tells them the story of dragons from Eastern mythology. And so that's why they're trying to figure out the truth about dragons. <laughs> I mean, I know the picture books are for the kids, but sometimes there are ones where I just want to like, so curious, I want to read it right away. And I definitely, this follow, falls into that. Um, we have Flat Cat by Tara Lazar and illustrated by Pete Oswald. Yes, Pete Oswald from the Good Egg series. So Flat Cat, not related to Flat Stanley. I think it's just a coincidence that they are both flat. He was, Flat Cat was born flat. Um, and then one day he falls into the wash and then he's not flat anymore. <laughs> that looks very cute. Remembering Zelina Gonzalez and illustrated by Adriana M. Garcia. I think that I, this, I like this, that this seems pretty clear from the cover that this is a bereavement book. Sometimes you don't know and you start reading them and you can end up with an unexpected conversation with your kids. Um, but this is, this sounds beautiful and it's about honoring a pet and it talks about um, one of the ritual celebrations of Dia de los Muertos. Just gorgeous. Tokyo Night Parade, story by J.P. Takahashi and art by Minako Tamigahara. And um, it's wonderful to see you again. Oh, so this is gorgeous. I just have to say, I feel like I say that a lot, but like, how can you not repeat that it's gorgeous? 
I love these um, big double spreads. We've seen a few of those recently in uh, this box of picture books. The Ground Thunders in Tokyo. Hmm. I'm a little confused, but I guess it's, there's a night parade, and that's what's making the ground thunder. Um, but now it says that she's living across the world in New York City, and she has to sort of try to recreate the joy of the parade by herself. Lolo's Sorry Sorry Store, Sophia and Lee, and Christ, illustrated by Christine Almeida. And this is, for one girl, Summer's meant used to mean helping Lolo at his Sorry Sorry Store. Um, but, oh, and now she lives in the United States. So this is a lot of books about kids moving from different places to the United States. And just like the other kid missed the Tokyo Parade, this kid misses the Sorry Sorry Store. Another Bluey Christmas book. Again, we missed the boat, but I do not think that the Bluey fans will really mind. Um, I love these because it gives kids a different perspective on Christmas coming from uh, the other hemisphere. And then our very last book is The River That Flows Beside Me, uh, Charlotte Guion and Joe Emson. And this looks beautiful. And it is about, oh my gosh. It's weird. It's weird. Oh my gosh, it's like a weirdly formatted book. Uh, sorry, someone's coming. I better hurry this up. The um, yeah, yeah. So this is this is intense. Look at this, and it's all about the going down the length of the river. So <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, Kind of disrupted ending. I'll put this back together. And yeah, that's going to be exciting, but maybe we should warn parents that before they open it, that it's going to be a little different than what they expect. Uh, I will be back soon. Bye.